morning all. Here's a little tri trick for you when you park up. Uh, as you can see, the curb runs along my left hand side. So what I've done is back my trailer along the curb and then that last minute, just lifted the front wheel onto the curb, which serves a couple of purposes. One is it brings your mirror in. Can you see that if a truck comes past me during the night, it'd have to be so close that it'd probably clip my trailer first before smashing my mirror off. Uh, obviously you'd pull the mirror in as well, giving you extra protection. But the good thing is it lifts that end of the bed up slightly. So instead of being down in a ditch and your head being down and all the blood rushing to your head, it's lifted slightly. Now you have to be careful where you do this because I do remember places like uh, an industrial estate up in Thirsk where they book you for parking on the curb. But it looked okay here, so I did it. Anyway, we're off in a minute to uh, our second, first drop of today, second one, just round the corner, probably five minutes away. <laughs> Shall we get on? Ten minutes and them guys at the first drop this morning, so seven, uh, he started me at 7.33 and I was pulling out at 7.43. Um, I'm six miles away from drop two of the day, uh, which is the last but one. And from what I can remember, when you come off at this uh, motorway exit in uh, just a mile and a half to go into Wolverhampton, it was normally packed and it's three minutes to eight now, so I'm guessing it's going to be absolutely heaving. Okay, that's second one of the day done. Uh, probably about half an hour with that one. Um, massive yard, but uh, just a bit of confusion. First of all, where I was tipping and then how it needed to come off. And uh, But anyway, uh, we're four, uh, 33 miles away from Atherston, which is the last drop. So probably an hour uh, should be clear for just after 10 a.m. Job done. Slightly awkward place to deliver to, in that the satnav took me the wrong way on the street, but I asked a very helpful couple and they've pointed me straight to it. Chap says to pull in and he's gonna sort me out straight away. So, should be a couple of minutes and away. Hope everybody's okay, but it says there's an obstruction on the slip road up ahead, so we're all sat on the M1. Uh, a couple of hours up to drop this trailer back in at York and then unit only back home to finish for the week and a week off next week. Uh, do us a favour everybody, if you haven't subscribed already please hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, uh, it just helps the channel grow and uh, makes me feel a bit better. Stick a comment in the comments below if you'd um, rather I carried on doing videos like this sort of daily and uploading daily or go back to the other format where I generally sort of record a week and then put the week out be interested to know what you'd prefer just made it back to loading point here to drop the trailer and it's four hours 22 minutes so I had eight minutes spare there's all the trailers over there. But uh, yeah, I'm just dropping it on this service road here. Now for some reason, I've just clicked the taco over and it's gone straight to only needing 43 minutes. So I don't I don't get that, how that is. I, I, I've literally just pushed the button, so it hadn't gone two minutes over. Anyway, I'll, um, I'm gonna drop the trailer next, so I'll show you my procedure for doing that. Okay, guys, I'm gonna try and make a little bit of an informed information video uh, on how to drop a trailer this is the way I do it I'm saying it's right but it's the way I do it ignore your pin for a minute and do it in a circle all the way around the trailer do it this way all the time and the reason I say to ignore the pin I'll show you and it'll become apparent in a minute why it's the best way so round the back remove your number plate then come up the side of the trailer and wind the legs down 
release the handle. And wind the legs down. Now the reason I say to leave the pin in is that if the legs are down and everything else goes wrong, so you pull away and you forget to disconnect the lines and all the rest of it, you won't end up like the trailer in the picture on the thumbnail, oops, with the front through the floor and the uh, rest of it up in the air. So up onto the catwalk, just pull this, that comes away. on the trailer. Store these in their respective holders, are clipped in properly, so that when you are going down the motorway, they don't bounce out. This one's not so bad because it's got an aluminium catwalk, but in the old days, it used to bounce out and drop down, down there, uh, and wrap around the prop shaft, which as you can imagine, side take the clip out For some reason there's a massive clip in this one pull the lever up and pull the handle out until it clicks so, the lines are off, the legs are down, the clips are out, the trailer can be dropped. The unit is then unit only. Use the air suspension to lower the back end of the unit as you pull gently out from underneath the trailer. Job's good. Let's head for home. <laughs> 